never know. Hi. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you and welcome. Very happy to be here. Yeah. This is the. Yeah, this I had breakfast nice last time I was here in this okay, room. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We normally use Hi, it. Hi, Ebbe. Good morning, how are you? Hi. So, <laughs> so, you have been here before? Yes, yeah. so this is my second time. Since, second time. But this is the first time that I'm going to the parliament. Yeah. And uh, I will meet the Have you been? Yeah, so I don't know why. Yes, we stay. If you don't mind. Sure. You could have. Yeah, that's true. that's true. I think it was difficult to foresee uh, a year. Um, uh, that you set up the moderates 21, was it? And 21? And they last year, so it was the 5th of June. You know, we like 10 months. Happy to be here. Yeah. How are you? Nice to see you. Mm -hmm. uh, just as I landed, uh, but yesterday I was in Prague for the speakers' conference. Uh, ah. uh, you were in uh, in Ostend, huh? Yeah, Monday last year in Denmark, in, in uh, at our west west coast. We have been able to double up ambitions yeah, yeah, yeah. in 2030 and 2050. So we will we will, and that's what we needed in the entire. Well, oh, it was good to see Ireland there, you yeah. know, and then I saw Brexit. Even in Luxembourg. Yeah. 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 Uh, I would say so yeah. you live in I think many of us lost some illusions on that day in February last year. Many of us Europeans, maybe especially in Europe, thought that cooperation, trade, working together would mean a more peaceful world. Um, and of course, uh, that has been the result for many years. But with the war in Ukraine, we also have to say that we have simply been too naive and we have to take the consequences of that. We have to rethink our own security. We will, and that's one of the best things about being a European in these troubled years. The unity in Europe and also transatlantic has been great. I think Putin underestimated our cap our are willing to be united. We have to stick to that unity. The first message I learned two decades ago is that Europe is worth it. It is worth your time, your energy, your belief. It is worth the frustrations that it sometimes causes. It is worth the funds it costs. It is worth it because it makes people's lives better. And it is worth it because ours is a project that is unique in the world that has at its underlying concept a very simple one, hope. And it is true that it sometimes feels that Europe is far away from our everyday realities. I get that and that's why I am here today. To listen, to explain, to answer any question you have and to remind you that the heart of Europe beats as loudly in Jutland or Zealand, as it does in Brussels or Strasbourg. 